Listen, Sal. Carmine Falcone's dead. And I'm here now. I'll be calling the shots. The much-anticipated 2024 series The Penguin delves into the gritty underworld of Gotham, offering a spin-off focused on Oswald Cobblepot, better known as The Penguin. Fans of the Batman franchise have long been captivated by the rise of Gotham's infamous villains, and this series, from the mind of the Batman director Matt Reeves, promises a fresh perspective on a character who's often been overshadowed by more glamorous and bombastic villains like the Joker. Episode 1 sets the stage for a complex, character-driven exploration of Penguin's ruthless ascent to power, with Colin Farrell returning to the role after his transformative performance in The Batman. But is it actually any good? And what's gonna happen going forward? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is modern television. Before we dive in, take a moment to like and subscribe. If just a fraction of the 95% of you who watch but haven't subscribed yet hit that button, it would make a huge difference in helping the channel grow. And the best part is, subscribing is completely free. Last year's The Batman gave us yet another iteration of the character who first appeared in Detective Comics. While much can be said about the Batman, I'll focus on the positives, like how they got Gotham right. Robert Pattinson was wildly miscast, but the villains were knockouts. And one of those villains just got himself his own show on whatever the hell HBO is calling itself these days. Right from the first scene of the first episode, the Penguin announces its tone a violent, brutal, and unforgiving world. The series begins with a sequence that reminds us of the brutal realities of Gotham. The dimly lit streets, decrepit alleys, and looming shadow of corruption are front and center as Oswald Oz Cobblepot, played by the nearly unrecognizable Colin Farrell, is introduced. Farrell once again undergoes a staggering transformation with prosthetics and makeup making him almost indistinguishable from the sleek leading man we've seen in countless movies. His performance in the first episode is a masterclass in restraint and menace, setting the stage for what promises to be an award-worthy portrayal. In the opening scene, we see Penguin overseeing an illegal arms deal gone wrong. The violence is swift and shocking, reminding the audience of Gotham's lawlessness. Penguin's command of the situation is impressive, and his ambition is clear. He's a man with his eyes on the top, and he won't let anything or anyone stand in his way. This initial scene serves as a microcosm of the series' themes, power, loyalty, and survival in a city that seems to chew people up and spit them out. And it also follows the golden rule of storytelling. Show, don't tell. Colin Farrell's interpretation of Penguin is nothing short of mesmerizing. In this first episode, we get a deeper look into Oswald Cobblepot's psyche. He's not the exaggerated, campy villain from earlier depictions. Instead, Farrell plays him as a broken man, driven by a relentless desire for respect and control. He's calculating, always two steps ahead, but there's also a subtle vulnerability beneath the surface. We are shown his fears and his doubts and his nuanced rise in his self-confidence. This penguin is not yet the kingpin we know he'll become, but he's getting there and the journey so far is looking promising. The writing does a fantastic job of fleshing out his motivations. In one of the episode's quieter moments, we see Penguin alone in his lavish yet grimy apartment looking at an old family photograph. It's a brief but telling moment that speaks to his complex relationship with his past, hinting at the deeper emotional layers that the series will likely explore. Farrell's performance here is magnetic, balancing his ruthless exterior with a nuanced internal struggle. This is a penguin who can be charming one moment and terrifying the next. Much like in The Batman, Gotham is a character in its own right in The Penguin. The city is dark, atmospheric, and perpetually rain-soaked, a place where hope feels like a distant memory. The showrunners clearly took inspiration from the neo-noir tone of The Batman with long, lingering shots of Gotham's grimy streets and towering skyscrapers. Every location feels drenched in corruption and decay, 
perfectly mirroring the moral degradation of its inhabitants. Episode 1 spends a good deal of time setting up the various factions vying for control of Gotham's underworld. Carmine Falcone's death, which occurs off-screen in The Batman, leaves a power vacuum that Penguin is all too eager to fill. Wait, is it Falcone or Falcone? Yeah, I forget. However, we see that he's not the only player in the game. The show introduces a host of new and familiar faces, including Sophia Falcone, Carmine's daughter, played by Kristen Milioti. Milioti's performance is captivating in her brief scenes, as she brings a fierce, calculating energy to the character, clearly positioning her as a formidable adversary for the Penguin. The episode also hints at the presence of other criminal elements lurking in the shadows, leaving the audience eager to see how the power struggles will play out in future episodes. It's clear that Gotham's crime families are in disarray, and Penguin is poised to seize his opportunity, but the path won't be easy. So there's your hook. Are we sure this is a show in 2024? The writing seems to be utterly alien to me. At its core, episode one of The Penguin is about power, how it's gained, how it's lost, and how it's wielded. Penguin's ambition is palpable in every scene. He spent years as a loyal underling, but now he wants what he believes is rightfully his, control of Gotham's underworld. The show does an excellent job of establishing the stakes early on, and Penguin's rise to power feels inevitable, yet fraught with danger at every turn. A well-written show? Again, what the fuck, am I in the right year? The show appears to be deep and nuanced with lots of underlying themes. The theme of legacy is also prevalent. With the death of Carmine Falcone, there's a void not just in the criminal underworld, but also in the idea of who runs Gotham. Penguin sees himself as the natural heir to Falcone's empire, but others, like Sophia, have different ideas. The show sets up a tantalizing conflict between these characters, with both legacy and power at the heart of their rivalry. The script intelligently explores the idea that in Gotham, power is always temporary, and everyone is fighting for their piece of a decaying empire. One of the standout aspects of The Penguin is its cinematic quality. The first episode feels like an extension of The Batman, with a similar visual style that is both haunting and beautiful. Director Craig Zobel, known for his work on Mayor of Easttown, brings a grounded realism to the show that enhances the tension and drama. The use of shadow and lighting is particularly striking, creating an atmosphere that feels claustrophobic and oppressive much like Gotham itself, and very similar to the Batman. The action scenes are visceral and intense, but they're not overdone. There's a grittiness to the violence that feels real and consequential, which adds to the show's grounded tone. The fight choreography is raw and brutal, perfectly fitting the world of Gotham's criminals. The first episode of The Penguin sets the stage for what promises to be a gripping, character-driven exploration of one of Gotham's most iconic villains. Colin Farrell delivers a powerhouse performance, transforming Penguin into a compelling anti-hero whose rise to power is both inevitable and dangerous, kind of like Tony Soprano. With its dark atmosphere, layered characters, and intense action, the Penguin is shaping up to be a standout entry in the expanding Batman universe. While it's too early to tell if the show will reach the same heights as the Batman, Episode 1 lays a solid foundation for a series that could easily become one of the standout shows of 2024. Fans of Gotham's criminal underworld will find plenty to enjoy, and with Penguin's journey just beginning, there's no doubt that things will only get more chaotic from here. But what do you guys think about all this? Did you like The Penguin? And where do you think the show goes from here? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Okie dokie.